Hello, 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 and welcome back to Henry, Henry, Harold Halibut. Well, I've already messed up the intro, so I guess uh, I just go for the kills, right? Oh my gosh, this is this is a really peaceful place. I like how pretty this is. Especially, it's like a really sharp contrast to the uh, the space station, which I guess is you fuck off. I hope you get beaten to death in your fishing face. Wait. I may have gotten the wrong fish person. <laughs> well. I just either assaulted a innocent fish man or uh, I've taken revengeance. Oh, wait, how do you run here? Can you run in this place? Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck is up with that boot? Oh, it's it's uh it's the fish wearing a boot for a hat. Oh, what is all this? Shea. Who's Shea? Hey, Harold. Uh no, you must be busy. No worries. I understand. If you'd seen my message, just wanted uh to run a new book idea by you. Who's Shea? Harold, I'm a man of science. Wait, who is this? Cyrus, I'm a man of science and everything has an explanation. But have you experienced any ghost-like phenomenon in the lab? Uh, in the lab recently? Uh, lab district recently. The other day, I'm sure I felt a presence sneak behind me. Uh, more corroboration- corroborating is need- uh, <laughs> Whatever. Sunny. Hey, Harry. Uh, I was thinking about your alien fish friend. Clearly, you really care about them. You'd tell me if there it was more than normal pet, right? No, I would not. Who the hell is... Oh, it's Chris. <laughs> Who the hell is Chris? <laughs> I spent the last six episodes screaming, show me your penis, Chris. Harold, my man. Say, my protein snacks from the TV land seem to have been snacked on? Uh, you know, those things aren't very good for you unless you're pumping iron, too. Unless, did you start working out? If you need a training buddy, you know who to ask. <laughs> Professor Monroe. Harold, what's with all the blatantly colored crumb, brightly colored crumbs on the lab table? Did you two, did the two of you stay up late again? I can't work in this mess. Get with the cleaning. Okay. Uh, how do I get home? Where am I going? Uh, <laughs> oops, I should have probably followed. Uh. Oh, wait, it's probably this way, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this is. This is not it. It's got to be over here, right? Yeah, yeah. I know where I'm going. I'm a brilliant, br brilliant silentist. Just like silences, Silas, the silentist. Oh, hey, it's my my snail buddy. He's like, um, he's the Dr. Jekyll to my Mr. Hyde. Oh, wait, where's my, where's my grooving bud? Yeah, nailed it. Harold, you know, you could move a little bit faster, please. No, okay. I guess Harold can't move a little faster. <laughs> Running only works on the oh there. There's Wee Woo. I'm glad you wait <laughs> What was that pun? 
What was with that weird little rotation on your axis there, bud? You okay? I like how artsy-fartsy this place is, though. It's beautiful in the caves. I don't even want to go back to the spaceship. I just want to live here now with all my new friends. There was... Snellman. Uh, there was fucking interrupt you fish. Uh, there was eat this food fish. And then there was Bubbleman. And there was uh, Bloop Blop, the, the musician. And I don't remember the rest, but I would like to stay here with them. We will, you can go back and you can live on the spaceship and go to Earth and live with all the Earthlings that will definitely eat you. Um, but I'm not. Those are bones. This little patch right here looks like it might be a little bit of rock, but it's a pile of bones. It's where everyone dies. All right, we well, let's let's get out of here. It's going to be strange getting back to the fedora. Yeah, it'll be nice to enter it not through a filter, though. <laughs> yes, and we'll be back soon with the others. What do you think the others will think of it here? Huh? I'm pretty sure they'll shit the themselves. Yeah. Monroe will die. Heart attack. Uh, Chris? I'm gonna see his penis. Oh. Are we gonna have, like, a, a weird little flash thing? Or is this, like, a cutscene? Or, like, like it's just gonna cut us over there. Fade to black. Oh, Professor. okay. Professor! Yes, Harold? I know you're excited. It's more than that. It's wow. Everything. I mean, the jelly books, the beautiful lights, but we used to... And then there were his neighbors. Everyone was so friendly. They had this great way of making bubbles. You don't pay for anything. Please, my boy, you must. I know, I know. But they were freaked out by me at all. They were just content with whatever. You could easily just move straight in. Harold! What? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh. What? Who? When? That, Harold, is what I was trying to tell you. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean... Wait, what? Oh. There are fishmen yes, <laughs> in the fish Indeed. sea! I understand. They kissed Harold! Hello, yes. Put everything in motion. Don't <gasps> spare the whip. What? No, of course I don't mean an actual whip. Now get cracking. <laughs> the cracking part does sound like a whip thing, though. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't like where this is going at all. <laughs> this feels too dark. I think this is Harold Imagination. This is moving all way too fast, and this is, like, too dark for this game so far. This is definitely Harold's imagination at play. It's all too dramatic as well. Uh, yeah, they put a water tube in. This is his, this is his, uh, imagination at play. A new shape of soul. Complete chapter three. Wait, what? That was real? Uh... 
Okay, wow, here we are. That was real? It's been a wild couple of weeks. And Wii U, it's so good to finally meet you. Hello. I am Hi. surprised. I thought that was just John? Harold's like. Everything okay? Hmm. Oh, yes. It's nothing. Carry on. Oh, if you say so. So, Wii U, I've heard so much about you. I'm Bridget, in case you didn't know. Okay. Right, well, just so you're aware, I'm sometimes known as the energy bacteria lady. I think it's because I positively grow on you. Oh, great. Uh, I can see we're gonna get along just fine. So is everyone as excited as I am? Sure. Um... Oh, you're wise to be a little circumspect, Wii U. What can you tell us about it, though? It's nice in there. Very Mawagaraha. Very what now? You heard Could her! Could be a bit more specific? You know, this could be the answer we've been looking for. It's like I said in my report, Professor. The Flumalim don't really seem to be curious about it at all. Harold, you wrote a report? I did! Well, just a little one. I drew pictures. Right. We really don't know much about it. I think it's probably very nice down there. Right. Well, okay. Let me reiterate the purpose of this expedition. We know the particles are a source of energy, but they're unstable and decay too fast on their own. Expedition? Yes, Wii U. It's imperative we get down there and take some readings. If we can learn where they come from, and or how they're produced, we might be able to engineer a solution. I hope you have more luck than Cyrus is having. Indeed. In the meantime, Bridget will be leading the mission prep from here, while I continue research from back at my lab. And what shall we do? Oh, you're both essential to the plan. Yes. We just haven't quite figured out in what way yet. Oh, wow. Well, that's okay. Oh, okay. Just keep yourself available, Harold. <laughs> be nearby. We'll let you know as soon as we know. Something. You'll be around. If you're really at a loose end, I'm sure Cyrus would appreciate some moral support. Okay. Well, we'll be around. Will you? Shall we take a walk? Check on a few so people? So, sorry, I've got something else I need to do. Huh? Really? Uh, yes. Sorry. Oh, sure. Oh. It's just that. Yeah. Sorry. I just got used to having you around. But you're right. I'm being silly. You go to your thing. I'll catch up with you soon. Yes. I'll come and find you as soon as I'm done. Okay. Let's get to it, everyone. Exciting times. Just one second, Harold. What now? No easy way to say this. Buddy has moved on. You mean Who? he's finally <gasps> retired? Who will deliver all the No. I mean, he's left us. Oh no! He died, Harold. What the oh. fuck? Oh, buddy. I know you two <sighs> have become close. I'm sorry. He was a ray of light, always running through the dark halls of Fedora. There'll be a funeral and a memorial run in his honor back on the ship soon. You can't just fucking there. do that! Oh, buddy. Was it... Yes. Peaceful. Professor? Yes, Harold? <sighs> Nothing. Sorry, it's just... I mean... Say no more, Harry. I know. Now, let's get going. That is so fucked up! I genuinely did not expect to cry during Harold Halibut today. <laughs> you can't just fucking kill off someone like that. <sighs> I did not fucking expect to cry during fucking Harold Halibut. This is bullshit. I. I am actually upset. What the fuck? <laughs> I cannot fucking believe they killed him off. That was so why? What? That came out of nowhere. <sighs> I... <laughs> I mean, he didn't appear at all in the last, like, chapter. Like, he just left a sign, oh, I'm not going to be... 
and he had like that whole little deal about his like the li unfinished letters and all that shit. I don't. I don't like this. I really don't like this now. I am like genuinely upset. They killed off. Like I was like, who's buddy? And then I realized he's the mailman. Like I, I, I loved his little story bits. I don't like that they put this here either. Is this where it kind of makes me really want like with the station, like the secretaries, I want them to like reunite because I feel like that now no one is above getting killed off. Okay, that's bullshit. How the fuck did that work? There's nothing below that. Whatever. I'm just mad now. This is... This is genuinely upsetting. <laughs> Hola, everyone. It's fallen to me to say a few words. <sighs> okay. Buddy and I would often share a jog together. And despite his age, well, that was the first time we saw him. Give me a run for my money. On our jogs and often afterwards, over a refreshing fish soup and cold beer, I came to realize something. Buddy was like the lifeblood of this station, surging up and down its corridors, delivering information keeping everyone connected. <laughs> I'm not be a fucking place I'm just him. sniffling. I'm not crying anymore. But he left me instructions that I shouldn't ramble on at his funeral. <laughs> oh, dude. But instead, I should play a video that he'd prepared for the occasion. Is it running? Yep, you're good to go. Mm. Hi, everyone. If you're watching this... Uh, it means I'm not around to deliver your mail and whip you all into shape in person anymore. I didn't want to trouble anyone with writing a long eulogy, so I recorded my own. My life wasn't much to write home or to anywhere about. I grew up while we were still floating around in space. Life wasn't much different, really. If anything, there's more to see out of the windows now. After we crashed, I think people felt sad that we weren't going to see new worlds. But as I got older, I realized that each person aboard the ship was a world of their own. So I became a postman, and it meant I got to visit lots of new worlds every day. Of course, back then we didn't have the tube system, so I had to be a bit more creative with how I got around the ship. Especially the broken bits. It made me realize the importance of staying in shape and being flexible. Where the body goes, the mind follows after all. And so, I wanted to leave this little collection of personal fitness and mind healthiness tips. So that even when I'm gone, I keep delivering smiles to you all. Oh, one last thing. I've arranged for my ashes to be delivered to the seas of this planet that has become our home. That way, some little parts of me will oh, always be moving. Oh, that's actually sweet. <sighs> Was that okay? Yep. <laughs> Just fine. Okay. Now, let's get moving. Take a deep breath. It's time to shake off those cobwebs. Okay. <sighs> I only have head movement.
Damn, he's got moves. Had moves. Oh. I genuinely didn't expect to be sad today. I didn't wake up thinking I'm gonna be saddened by fucking Buddy's death in a fucking video game about fish people on an alien planet. That has been genuine, generally humorous. Good evening, everyone. Fuck off! Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. <laughs> I fucking hate this. I really fucking hate this. How the fuck can they do this to me? I'm just, And then the whole fucking eulogy... They just bring it on you. I fucking hate it. I'm... I mean, I guess it really, it really does kind of show like the nature of death and all that. It's, you know, you know, you never can expect it, all that crap. And I just didn't expect to, uh, oh, the fish is gone. Oh, everything's leaving me. Everything I once cared about is gone. <clears throat> oh, a package. Wait. Oh, fucking bullshit, man. This looks like Buddy's treasure trove. Why could he have wanted to leave it to me? So many letters. But why? <sighs> I'm too tired to go through all of them and figure it out now anyway. I'll try tomorrow with a fresh head. I think you'd approve of me pacing myself. Right, buddy? Yeah. I think he would. He only wanted us to ever go through one a day. This is such bullshit, though. I don't, I don't even want to play this anymore. It's it's breaking my fucking heart. Oh, and the worst part is even like the idea of going home, he's not going to see. I guess he was OK with it, though. He wanted to be. Uh, I don't know. That's. Thank okay. you, Dor. Time to see what all this is about. Okay. Oh, the top one is addressed to me. Fuck me, hey, dude. Hey, Harold. If you're reading this, then... Well, it's because I'm not around to tell you myself. These are the remaining letters. I wonder what the recipients would think if you delivered them after all this time. Oh, that's so... Of course, Sweet. you may have to read them in order to figure out who that recipient is. As you can see, the addresses or names on the envelopes were damaged or obscured somehow. And don't worry about getting into trouble. According to paragraph 18.5 of the All Water Delivery Handbook, in the event that the senior All Water Post official, that was me, is incapacitated, they may designate a junior as delivery proxy. Mm. I hereby designate you. Oh. By the way, you can deliver them in the same order they're arranged in the box. I took the liberty of organizing them for maximum transit efficiency. Okay. Hope you enjoy this little taste of what I had so much fun doing. 
Now get those knees up high and deliver some joy. Your distant pal, Buddy. Oh, god damn it, Buddy. Stab me in the goddamn heart, then give right. me a job. Whatever. Let's see. Okay. Deliver the letter to Monroe. Oh, okay. Hey, Monroe, okay. you have a letter. Gelatinous like substance. Contains knowledge, but ambiently. This is not how I expected learning an alien language to go. Oh. Ah, Professor? Perhaps if I liquefy, I may imbibe the knowledge. Mm -mm. Must test ingesting. It won't be poisonous first. Professor, that's not how. Oh, Harold, what did you say? About the books. You don't really read them. They have something to do with your state of mind, not their physical state. Whatever do you mean? With these jellies, you have to be really calm. Empty your mind. Then you can get a sense of what's inside. So, you're saying it's a transcendental, meditative sense memory absorption process? Sh sure. Listen, Monroe, Here, I don't have time to deal with you. this bullshit. I just fucking dealt with a very intense loss. Assuming you're not pranking me. Why did that door open? I'll try it. Hopefully ghosts. I'll be able to research oh. them more thoroughly. Cyrus did say there were there ghosts. Anything else you need help with? No, but I bet Cyrus would appreciate a helping hand. Awesome company cooped up in that little room. Good idea. I'll go check on him. Okay. Enjoy the jellies. Professor, I've got a bit of mail for you. Oh, thanks. Just put it over there with the rest. This one is kind of different. And how do you know that exactly? I read I'm it. delivering it for Buddy. It's from Cyrus, from a long time ago. Oh. What? Give it here. Let me see. Fuck you, Monroe. To whom it may concern. That's you, Monroe. I'm writing to formally oppose your newly proposed archiving protocol. Oh. The archiving club has operated perfectly well for months using the Arundhati indexing protocol. Implementing a new one now will set back our archiving efforts considerably while we adapt to the new system and re-index the existing archives. Furthermore, I'm afraid if you continue to suspend working with the existing index in a mis- Guided attempt to brute force oh, okay. your own I guess way we're cause and trouble. to suddenly claim how much better it is as proof the ends justify the means, I may be forced to report this matter to the school council. I look forward to resolving this matter amicably and returning once again. What does to that say up in the top corner? I your... orderly yours, Cyrus. Oi. That's what he thought. And he must have assumed I'd snubbed him at the time. Surely he doesn't still remember that. Well, either way, can you believe how long we've been carrying on this little grudge? Yes. Oy vey, we're still acting like kids. Oh, you're not that bad. Huh, thanks, Harold. I mean, for bringing me this. It helped me realize it's time to put aside our differences. That did? To accept that we'll never see eye to eye. Maybe that's why we achieve so much together. Ah, huh, cool. You and Cyrus are a great team. That protocol was inefficient, though. See you in a bit. Mm, that was very sweet. I cannot fucking believe they killed off Buddy. I bet the next one's to Cyrus. Let's Maybe. see. Okay, pick up the next letter. Oh, Zoya. Okay. Interesting. Um Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and end it there for today. Uh I think my heart is broken enough right now and I have a feeling that this little letter to Zoya is going to be like a a heart wrenching one as as well about like being yourself and all that 
shit. So, um, we'll end it there. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this one, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!